somebody you shouldn't be with. <laughs> this first photo is going to be online at jackdaniels.com starting tomorrow for three months. And you get in 
trouble. I'm just trying to help you stay out of that trouble, okay? Then he goes, oh, if you want your immediate group, that one won't be online. You're going to put, you'll be able to put that in your private collection. Is that good? Y'all yeah. follow Mr. Seth now. He's going to line y'all up. All right. We're going to go right over down to this get it back after that. All right. uh, when you stand up, you watch these rails and monitors don't hit your heads, okay? Uh, be careful getting off this bus and we're going to walk around and talk. I got my radio in case I need security. Don't y'all get no ideas. <laughs> <laughs> still on by the Daniel family? No, sir. Brown Foreman of Louisville, Kentucky owns Jack Daniels now. Brown Foreman Corporation. Y'all come on. Thank you, sir. See you Monday. Yes, sir. Good day. Good day. Catch me now. Catch me. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the ride. Say, man, are you three? <laughs> it's raining. I don't know if he wanted me to wipe his foot off for him, or give him my boots or what, but neither one was going to happen. He's going to suffer with them wet feet. Now, y'all, this is a rickyard. Uh, this is where we make charcoal for the mellowing process. It is the mellowing process that separates us from bourbon. Bourbon does not go through the charcoal mellowing. We're going to see that about halfway through the tour. Now, told Jack back in the day, they said, Jack, you can't make charcoal outside in the open air. He did it, and we're still doing it today, 150 years later. We've just got that EPA-approved hood we're doing it under. That catches sparks and ashes, anything like that, that could potentially fly out and start a fire on our property or on the neighbor's properties. Uh, we don't want that to happen to anybody. Now, uh, we're using that tree for a lot better purpose. That's a good signal. <laughs> now, it sets out here for about six months before we burn it. Let it dry a little bit, it'll burn hotter. Now, it's gotta get hot. Now, it takes about two hours for complete burn. It reaches temperatures up close to 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, what they're gonna do, they've got two under there right now. The other day, they only burned two, but normally they'll put four under there. So it's leaning to the middle like that, so when it collapses, it falls over itself. But it gets so hot, we can't get close enough to it to pile it back up. Now, no petroleum products are gonna be put on the wood to start the fire gasoline or kerosene, nothing like that. We don't want to take a chance on that getting a taste of that whiskey when it goes through the charcoal. So what we use is what they do. If we spray too much water too soon, we got a pile of burning wood. Do a little water too late, we got a pile of ash. Give me your fingers. I ain't gonna hunt you down. If you don't want it, don't come up here. It's just out of air. That's crap. We're gonna get it out of here though. I'll shake you whatever I gotta do. Y'all come on somewhere. Now, when they finish a burn, it comes out in big pieces like you see in the half barrel over there on the left. Uh, that's a little bit too big. It won't pack in tight enough. So what they'll do is they'll take it next door. They'll grind it down to pea gravel size. Now, 
That's going to pack in tight. That whiskey is going to seep down through there. It moves the impurities from it. Now, that's going to remove fusel oils, corn oil, fatty acids. Um, so we're trying to make that a little more healthy for you. Now, just in case you're worried about whiskey, uh, y'all, it's gluten free. Okay, <laughs> about that part. All right. Distillation removes that from it, so you're good to go. You don't have any grams of sugar in bottle number seven? Zero. No carbs. You can consider it a diet drink if you want to. As long as you do it in moderation, you're safe with it, okay? It can pickle you, all right? So do it in moderation. Now, y'all come on. Let's go walk and talk a little bit, y'all. Y'all seen that going on? You see how fast them guys moved in that video, right? Yeah. Y'all, we're in Lynchburg making whiskey in Tennessee. You see this picture right here? This is 80% of the time. <laughs> he ain't gonna work hard, I promise you. Okay? We just know country boys, make your wish. Don't know anything else. Represent the fire brigade. That big truck's a 1919 American from and right now it don't run. You see the chains on the front of the rear tires is chain, chain driven. The little truck on the inside over there is a 1928 REO speed wagon. We'll fix the little right there in front of that in just a minute. Okay. Now. Right here. Look up on top of the hill above the trees. That building sticking up. That's a barrel house. There's over 20,000 barrels of whiskey in there. 53 gallons in each barrel. That's a little over a million gallons of whiskey sitting there waiting to be bottled up. Now right now, we don't pay the taxes on it. It's bonded. We go to bottle it. The federal government holds that hand out. They want $13.50 a gallon for us. That's a little over $14 million in federal taxes waiting to be bottled up for you sitting there. I'm going to give you one more data about your taxes. You're standing in the liquor store here in the U.S. looking at the price tag on the bottle. 60% of that cost is taxes, federal, state, and local. Whiskey's cheap to make. Government makes expensive to buy. They're wearing us out, y'all. Now. Distillery in 1908. Prohibition started in 1919, y'all. We was under it already here. All about religion and some stuff like that.
we'll do it for free at jackdaniels.com starting tomorrow. And if it happens not to be there tomorrow, it'll be there Monday. Today's day, drive county to it. Okay? You get that one, keep it handy, I need it. Alright? We've got a documentary coming out and they're going to show me on TV. So uh, I'm sitting around one night, my picture pops up on the TV, say, hey, that's my man Jeff down there, Jack. Your friends will call you a liar and tell you you don't know me. Bet them something. When they bet you, we that picture out. You got it. Okay? Uh, individual photo available. You can look at those to the left. You go in the just tell me it's on the 430 flight of Jack. They'll show you yourself. If you like yourself, you get it. You know you might buy it.
Thank <laughs> you.